Hi, I'm Clemens Grasse, I'm the Divinity Faculty Librarian here at the University of Cambridge. This is for the virtual open day, so you get an idea about the facilities at the Divinity Faculty Library. Two photos back in front of the building, and we are a quite friendly, welcoming place, quite a modern building, but a small place, a place to meet people. This is in the foyer, where we have coffee mornings, usually on Monday to Friday, 11 o'clock, where students and staff can meet and you find academics there and, you know, sometimes librarians, if we manage it. But it's a really good place to meet. Um, this is maybe an odd photo, but there's a water um, dispenser um, where you can fill your water bottles and also the front, the middle door is the kitchen. So we have quite a well-equipped kitchen, which is used to cater um, after events, especially also research seminars, which are open to undergraduate students as well, and has a chance to get to know academics better or graduate students or also speakers, which can be quite exciting in normal times. Obviously not happening at the moment, unfortunately, due to COVID-19. This is a junior common room or the student common room and minus the tape for COVID-19, but imagine that without a natural light, a printer where you can print for free if you bring your own paper, desks where you can study or you can just chill and relax. Other places you can relax are between the lecture rooms. So this is in the basement where the lecture theatres are. Imagine again, uh, chairs, normal, um, not upside down there and full of people between lectures and waiting for the next lecture, either having a quick bite to eat or just, you know, chatting. This is from the foyer. There is a reception for the um, faculty office. You can ask colleagues there, um, uh, admin colleagues, um, about the... Um, studies and if you need any help with that they will help you a board with photos from all of all staff um, including academic and admin and library staff and also postdocs so we're really quite a friendly bunch in a small community in a in a, in a really good building i think Easy to find your way around the building, um, signposting as well, um, very natural kind of light, um, light wood as well, um, and it's a really friendly place, and I really, um, it's really a shame that you can't come around just to see it. This is a, a photo from uh, one of our lecture rooms, fits about 60 people, obviously um, this is before COVID-19, in-person lectures, but, you know, we will get there again, and 60 is about the num definitely the number for undergraduate um, the cohort. This is the Lightfoot room, which is basically the boardroom of the faculty, also used for group small groups to discuss things and small group teaching. So all the teaching is really happening in the faculty, except for supervisions which are happening in colleges or are organized by colleges. Sometimes small group discussions are transferred to the garden. This is the garden area behind the building, wall, there's a wall to the left, there's a hedge, and the other side you have the building. It's quite secluded and we're quite fortunate to have that really. I am librarian, so I have to talk about libraries, of course. The Divinity Faculty Libraries is relatively small for Cambridge standards, but 55,000 volumes. We got all the books you need for your teaching. Obviously, we got also ebooks, and we also do scans of chapters on our virtual learning environment. But yeah, well, definitely a good point of call. Colleges have a college library, at least one, normally one for undergraduates, and then one research or older materials if there are older colleges. Anyway, it's good for 24 7 access. And uh, you know, this is Sherwood Library, which is at Trinity Hall College. Then, University Library, every university has a library. But not everyone. Everyone, everyone has uh, eight to nine million items. Legal deposit library. That means going back to 1750 up to 2015. A lot of books from UK and Ireland will have been deposited. Since then, it's um, electronically, so you normally can see a book which has been published in the UK and Ireland. Lots of libraries in Cambridge, modern, old. You know, different styles, different subject areas, and usually um, people find a space to study. Just to give you an idea, that's where we are, Divinity. Um, then there's the University Library at the top, five minutes away, Philosophy. Then there is Asian and Middle Eastern Studies. There's also Classics there. Then there's History. Then there's English. So History and English are quite big. This is Space Finder, which is a platform. You can actually search, uh, well, not in COVID-19 times, but normally cafe, restaurant, uh, cafe or other places where you might be able to study background noise, group work, what do you need to do? It's really a good tool. Returning books out of hours, yes. So Faculty of Divinity is a 
the purple circle there and within two minutes walk Sitch Box 1 or and Sitch Box 2 24 7 uh, you can drop off books during term time and obviously now during pandemics that's also very useful if you have any questions contact us here's the email address the outreach officer outreach faculty office or divinity library and it's really sad we can't give you a library tour but if you do want one and if it allows to COVID-19 please contact us in the coming months and hopefully we can do this oh I hope um, we'll see you soon either as prospective students or in the end at, as, as students in Cambridge and take good care bye-bye